okay let's see uh, very simple program today we'll start with very simple program <clears throat> Okay. Okay, so I'm removing this part. I'm making it uh, very simple so that you can understand it all. Now, what we'll, we'll try to do is, uh, we want to have a flame sensor uh, what flame sensor will do is uh, it will see that is there any flame or is there any uh, you can say fire or not. So if it will find any fire, uh, it will give some sort of a value and with that value we can actually uh, trigger some alarm. Okay. So the sensor is the flame sensor. So yesterday we have seen two sensor, right? So one is the ultrasonic sensor we have seen yesterday and uh, a DHT sensor we have seen yesterday. So today we'll start with uh, a new sensor, which is called flame sensor. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you what is a flame sensor is and uh, how it is working, how it, it used to work. I'll show you both the thing. I'll show you the uh, node MCU and the flame sensor and then we'll go to the program and try to uh, run the program. So here uh, I have uh, flame, uh, I have node MCU. So this is uh, nothing but the node MCU that we'll use for today's uh, lab session. And this is the same board what we have, uh, what I have shown you uh, in the diagram, okay? And you can see that the pin number is, is, is mentioned. Okay, pin number is mentioned. Although the a board is very small, so that's why the number that you are, uh, you can see here is also very small. So it's difficult to uh, see, but yeah, physically, if you will see that it will be very easy. Okay, is there any query? No, sir. Okay, I thought it is. Okay, uh, so this is uh, the flame sensor. Uh, what this flame sensor will do is, it will generate the value zero and one. So it will generate the value zero if, uh, there is no flame and it will generate the value one when it will detect any flame, okay? So, and here you can see in this particular uh, sensor has four pin. So, as you can see, this sensor has four pin and if you can see, uh, there is a plus return and there is a ground return, return in, in, in between two pins. So there are uh, the sir, sir, sir. yes. Sir, sir, flame means that you the temperature or that you. No, flame means uh, the fire, fire. So yeah, it, how how it will because there is no camera here. No? Uh, what? And how will detect that the flame, sir? It will detect the flame. Detect I'll, I'll show you. Or... I'll show you how it will detect. No, no, okay. Uh, this but this is the sensor for detecting it. This okay. is a sensor. Okay, and uh, here we have actually four pin. As you can see, the middle two yeah. pin is for the uh, for the uh, for giving the power to that particular sensor. So there is a plus and the ground, as you can see. And here, here in this particular side, you will you will see A O that is uh, analog, and this particular side is the D O, which is for the digital output. So if you are using uh, the board, 
which is supporting the digital output or digital input uh, so for that you'll use d which is written d digital which is written and uh, if you're using it into the analog so you have to put uh, into the pin analog so this particular sensor is for both analog as well as digital okay so let's go to the program and then we'll again come into the hands-on so in the program as you can see uh, we have uh, defined a constant variable here flame pin and here we have kept as a d2 so as i have uh, shown you into the diagram what is d2 so this one is the d2 this is the d2 this is d0 d1 d2 and this d2 i can write as a 4 also this is a general purpose input output pin 4 okay so instead of writing 4 i can write d2 or if you want to write 4 here that is also correct Okay, so I'm writing D2. Now, in the setup function, as I told you, we have two function. One is a setup function, another is a loop function. So in the setup function, we'll set up the baud rate for the serial monitor. So this is the baud rate that we have set up. Yesterday it was a 9600. You can make it 9600, there's no issue on that, or we have the baud rate. Now after that, we'll change, we'll, uh, set up the mode of the pin so which pin we are actually setting up we are setting up d2 pin so here this particular constant variable has the value d2 and this d2 we are making as a input pin okay what is the input pin so input pin is for the taking the input uh, from the sensor so we are making the d2 to take the input from the sensor now come to the loop function inside the loop function uh, we have taken an integer variable and we say here digital read so whatever this this pin is giving you this flame pin is giving you we are just reading it and we are reading it and we are putting into the flame uh, variable and whatever we are getting into the flame variable we are just printing Okay. And there is a delay of 1000 millisecond means it is of one second after one second delay again uh, this particular pin will read whatever sensor is generating it is just reading so every one second the sensor data will be generated by the board and you can see it into the serial uh, uh, serial monitor. Okay. Now let's do the connection and uh, let's do how it works. Let's see how it works. Okay. So as uh, we have this node MCU, so this is our node MCU and uh, then uh, we have many jumpers that are here. Okay, we have different jumpers. Uh, what else is there and uh, we have, we need the breadboard for that, right? To uh, do the connections. So let's start the connection and this is my sensor that I have to connect. So in the program says that I have to take the digital input and I have to put into the D2 pin. So as you can uh, see here in this particular uh, uh, node MCU, we have D2 pin. So as you can find the D2 pin here. So here you can find the third pin as the D2 pin. Okay that is a useful pin that we have to use so what i am doing is i am just uh, putting this particular
board into the breadboard and then this sensor I am putting now I'll do the connection so the first I'll make the power connection so I'll make it plus to the three voltage power supply so first I have done that and second I'll make the ground ground to ground so there is a ground pin which is written G so I'm putting there and after that I'll take the distal so this here in this particular side I have the distal pin and this particular side I have the analog pin so here I am using the distal uh, uh, pin for the input so I'll take and put into the D2 which is a general purpose input output pin 4 and here in the board it is written D2 okay. so the connection is done so as you can see only three pin is required and I have used this particular uh, uh, jumpers to add into the sensor now here I'm using the simple cable so this cable you all you all use it for your mobile charging right so this is a uh, us uh, the micro USB that I'll put into the board here and then I'll take this particular uh, USB port into my system okay so I'm putting it so as you can see uh, the the LED is blinking for the sensor means the sensor is on right now hmm? now let's go to the code and flush the code into the board so this is my code before that I'll select the board okay so I'll go to the board before yesterday we have the Arduino Uno board and for today's session we have the node MCU board if you doesn't have the node MCU board attached with your uh, Arduino IDE so for that you have to go for uh, go to the board and go to the board manager click on the board manager and install the node MCU board it will come here this is node MCU 1.0 ESP E2 module so that I am clicking so once I select this particular board after selecting the board uh, you can select the port so as you can see it is showing me the USB serial port that you can click so that it will select and your data will be pushed on that so I'll use the upload button to upload it so I'll click on to the upload button so in actually in uh, uh, node MCU to flushing the data it took some time but uh, in the yesterday we have seen the in the Arduino board um, the data when we are flushing the data it is not taking much time it's just uh, flushing or uploading into the board very easily but it is taking some time um, okay now is a hundred percent done now let's see the serial monitor Come to the serial monitor and here you are getting the flame values okay now I'll do I'll use the mesh match match box and so show you this so as you can see this sensor I'm using the
matchbox and we'll try to generate the flame so as you can see the value that you are getting is one yes now it is zero now it is one so as you can see it will find the flame right once it will find the flame this sensor will generate one and when it will be it is not getting the flame it is giving you the value zero so this is the sensor that we will use generally for the for the fire uh, if you want to make the fire application and you want to make the uh, install the fire uh, sensor nodes into the whole building so what you can do is you can take these type of uh, sensor and you can put into how many so we have around as I told you we have around 14 pins into the node MCU right so you can use those 14 pin all those 14 pin to uh, connect the 14 different flame sensor that you can put into the building so uh, what will be the cost the cost will be very less so the sensor uh, uh, what we are using is of less than 100 rupees so it will buy it so it will be it will come around 1000 rupee uh, in 1000 rupee you can get 13 14 sensor and only one node mcu is required to connect all those 14 pins right and you can give uh, the numbering to the uh, to those pins right like d0 is room number one d2 is room number two in that way so you can actually install the fire sensor in the building of 14 rooms with almost no cost so as you can see the node mcu cost is uh, 500 around and the sensor cost will be uh, for 14 sensor you will get 14 uh, maybe thousand rupee that you can put and the connections is required okay now how you can uh, raise the alarm right so we can have the logic so yesterday we have seen like when the temperature goes or the uh, the humidity goes up will uh, will raise the alarm or will raise some sort of uh, uh, will what we can say we can uh, glowing the led right so that also we can do here so let's go and uh, try to write some code so that we can glow one led whenever there is a, a detection of the flame okay okay so let's okay this is the code we have uh, seen yesterday right so we'll use So I can have one LED. I can use two LEDs, let's say. One LED is for uh, if it is zero and one LED is if it is. So we have, let's say the green LED and some other uh, different light, right? I can use it. So this will be, and uh, next will be the logic. So I'll make this LED high and this LED look so let's do it so let's say i have led one i am connecting it to d0 then i have led two i'm connecting it to d1 getting it so I'm making two pins, LED one and LED two pin for the output pur output purpose. Okay. Okay. So let's say I'll put the logic if flame is equal to zero flame value is equal to zero then I'll make a 
I'll make digital write to LED one as high. And at the same time, I'll make LED two as low. Else, I can do LED two as high and LED one as low. Okay, let's see whether this uh, this will work or not. So, are you getting uh, are you getting it? So, we have two uh, LEDs. One is let's say the green LED. Another is let's say the different color LED. LED. If there is a green LED, means there is no fire. If there is a different LED means there is a fire. So that we can do before flushing this particular code. Let's do the connection. Okay. So we can do connection here. So for that we have some LEDs. Let's say this is the green LED. Green is for so LED one. We we are using for uh, for what purpose? So we are connecting it to the D zero. This is. One D D zero, and then use D one. So this D one will use for let's say we use another LED here. Now we'll make it to the ground. So there is a ground pin here also. We can uh, keep here. From that ground, we'll give the ground to the LEDs. Okay, so this connection we have done, as you can see, we have two LEDs. One is the green color LED, another is uh, another color LED. So when uh, there is no flame, the green will be um, will be on, and uh, when there is a flame, this uh, another will be on. Okay, let's see whether it is working fine or not. Let's go to the code again. So LED one is high. Okay, LED one is for D zero and D one. Okay, so we have done the correct connection. Yes. Now we'll flush this particular code. So I'm putting. So whenever you do the new connection, you just remove the uh, the power from the board. And once the connection is done, give the power to the board. Just go to the tool. And choose the port. So already you have chosen the port. You doesn't have to do it again. You just have to choose the port, and then flush it. Okay, there is some syntax error.
so as i told you it is taking some time to upload into the So once it has been uploaded, let's see its output. What output you are getting? You are getting zero, right? So as you can see, the green is glowing right now. Okay. Intensity. Okay, green is glowing right now. Let's use the plane. As you can see, another is glowing. So, uh, so I think the concept is clear. When you are getting one, this uh, another uh, is glowing, and if you are getting zero, this is glowing. So, uh, one will be on and one will be off at a time. Both will not glow at the same time right it will be a false alarm so this is how you can design a simple concept of uh, this uh, flame and all right uh, with the help of this you can make the fire sensor a fire uh, uh, application and you can use it uh, for any purpose <laughs>